Hello, Loveland Classical Schools community. I am Ian Stout, LCS Executive Director, and I'm pleased to share some exciting updates as we continue back to reopening fully and getting back to normal, so to speak, during the backside of this COVID-19 pandemic. We're excited to share our progress as we continue to reopen. And it's fair to say a year into this that our systems have worked. After approximately 120 in-person school days, uh, and in-person learning happening at both campuses with over 900 students. We've only had two instances of in-school transmission occurring since we first opened back in person on September 1st. So it's an amazing testament to our collective efforts as a community, our students, our teachers, our staff members, our families. Thank you and well done. As we entered this unique school year, our frame was twofold. First was to provide as much and as high quality in-person learning and school opportunities for our students as safely as possible for our community. And also to not only get by this school year, but to thrive, to do it very well, to be well positioned on the other side of the COVID pandemic. So we can continue implementing our mission and vision as a high quality classical school and educational option for our families. We've been able to provide uh, beginning of the year, fall benchmark testing and winter benchmark testing with the NWEA internal benchmark assessment, a nationally normed assessment. And we're happy to share that we've been able to mitigate learning loss to a large extent. We have not seen the learning loss that is typical, unfortunately, of most schools around the country. And so this is a testament to the hard work of our teachers, our students, our staff, our families, and to the in-person and fully remote learning option model that we've been able to pursue. Continuing with our momentum, we're excited to share some examples of how we continue to return back to fully in-person, back to, to normal, so to speak. For example, uh, our staff are currently receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. Those staff members who wish to have a vaccine have already received their second dose or are currently lined up to receive their second dose in the up upcoming weeks. Additionally, as a Lyceum campus, we're pleased to share that based off a variety of factors, the plexiglass desk shields have been removed off our student desks to allow for a more uh, normal in-person learning experience and interaction with their teachers. Additionally, we're one week in to the full return to in-person learning five days a week here for our middle and high school programs here at the Academy campus. And we're happy to share that one weekend, uh, the transition was flawless, amazing job done by our teachers, staff members, and especially our students to uh, handle this transition back to full class sizes, five days a week, and um, it's gone extremely well. We're looking forward to inviting our parents back into our school building at the Lyceum and the Academy to participate in volunteering opportunities. Parent involvement is an integral part of our mission and vision, partnering with families towards our students' success. And so we're currently working out some details around contact tracing and around the cohort grouping. And we hope to have some information out within the next month of how we can begin to uh, return to our parent involvement in person in our school. And finally, I'm very excited to share that in our planning for next school year, 2021-22, our frame is to return back to normal as much as possible. And so, uh, for example, our frame is definitely in scheduling our students and classes at the Lyceum and at the Academy. The full schedule, uh, eight periods a day at the Academy and our Lyceum students having their specials classes on a rotational ABC schedule, again, returning back to those um, schedules. Also, we're excited about a return to the uh, music ensembles, instrumental music and choir as part of our um, daily schedule and for our classes. And you know, uh, our approach has been to follow the guidelines around safety requirements, but uh, looking at next year, we're not as of now looking at exceeding. So for example, uh, in terms of face coverings, if face coverings are not required in school, um, then that is the direction Love and Class School will go. After a year of the COVID-19 shutdown, uh, we're happy to share that Love and Class School Schools has been able to navigate this year, not just to get by, but successfully as a model for other schools around the state, but more importantly, 
to provide our students uh, the most in-person, high-quality in-person learning opportunities as possible in a safe environment for entire communities possible. And this is because of the collective efforts of our families, our students, our teachers, and staff. Uh, on behalf of Love and Classical Schools, I'd like to thank our entire community and let's have a very strong end to this school year. We have two more months and let's continue that learning. Thank you.